Hi everyone, thank you for attending our uh, Lift Off to Success information session. We're just going to hang off for a couple of minutes to see if anyone else joins us, but we'll be back in a couple of minutes to tell you more. Good evening everyone, thanks for being with us. Uh, we just wanted to see if there were some last minute attendees. Um, thanks for taking the time to attend this evening's information session on our Summer School Residential Lift Off to Success 2023. My name's Hannah, I'm a development worker with Lift Off and also joining me this evening are my lovely colleagues Helen and Chantelle who will be behind the scenes to make sure everything runs smoothly. This is a live event, which means all attendee cameras and microphones will be switched off throughout, but please feel free to use the Q&A function at any time to comment or ask any questions. Just a quick disclaimer before we start this session, it's going to be recorded uh, and we will be sending a, a copy of this to parents and carers via email after the session. So this is a brief outline for this evening's session then, which should not last any longer than 45 minutes. I'm going to cover a bit about Liftoff, who we are and what we do, and then I'll pass over to Helen, who will provide some more information about LO2S and how your young person can apply. Finally, 
we'll finish off uh, with a Q&A session with myself, Helen and Chantel to answer any questions you might have. So a bit about Liftoff then and who we are. Liftoff is part of the National Schools Programme, which runs across Scotland and is funded by the Scottish Funding Council. There are four main programmes which run across the country, Focus West, Leaps, Aspire North, and then ourselves, Liftoff, and we work within Fife, Dundee and Angus. We currently work with 24 secondary schools overall across Fife, Dundee and Angus, and our aim is to support pupils progress onto higher education with a variety of engagements and events throughout the Liftoff programme. What is higher education then? Uh, at the moment, your young people are preparing for their up and coming exams in May and are working towards mostly National 4 and National 5 qualifications on the Scottish Credit and Qualification Framework. This framework provides an overview of different qualifications across Scotland in schools, colleges, universities and apprenticeships and employment. You can view this SCQF interactive framework online and we'll also post a link in the chat for you to view as well. So higher education then is any course which is rated at SCQF level 7 or above. And this means it starts by e at either a higher national certificate and HNC at college or first year of university. Most colleges and universities that offer different pathways now to achieve degrees, which are called articulation routes. This means that you can begin your HE journey studying an HNC or HND at college and then articulate into either the second or third year of university, depending on the course and the institution. Our aim at Liftoff is to support our core pupils on their individual routes to HE learning, whether that's at college or at university. Our small but perfectly formed team is hosted by Abertay University and we are based at Fife College. Mary is our programme manager, Mel is our deputy manager, our, Julia is our fantastic administrator and finally myself, Helen and Chantel are all development workers who work directly with schools and pupils. Not only do we work with a range of external partners, schools and institutions, but our programme also has valuable input from our fantastic student volunteers. Our volunteers are current HE students studying at higher education institutions across Scotland and studying a diverse range of subjects. They provide valuable insight as current students at university, sharing their own personal experience from applying to university to daily life as a student at college or university. Student volunteers are on hand at various different engagements throughout the programme, but pupils can also contact volunteers directly with any specific questions at any time using our Ask a Student function on our website. Being a core pupil on the Lift Off programme has a range of benefits for your young person. We raise aspiration using our experiential campus events, which give pupils the opportunity to experience life in HE, as well as opportunities to mix with pupils from other schools and meet new people. Along the way, pupils build confidence by engaging with a range of different opportunities and events. We also provide impartial information, advice and guidance by meeting our core pupils one to one to discuss their goals for the future. We also provide resources, information uh, and explore next steps and routes into higher education. We also raise awareness of the different opportunities and different routes to achieving future qualifications and also signpost to other partner programmes. Our laws course offered in S5 gives pupils the opportunity to gain an additional qualification which can be added to applications for university or college. 
This is also a chance for pupils to develop the skills required to study in higher education from independent learning, note taking, critical thinking, group work, presenting and much, much more. This is our overall lift off programme for core pupils on the programme. We start engaging with pupils in S3 with an opportunity to sign up to the programme at the end of S3 and begin the programme in S4. In S4, we focus on experiential opportunities to raise aspirations and build confidence, such as our S4 campus event and up and coming at O2S. Pupils also have the opportunity to meet with development workers one to one to start considering their post school options. In S5, as discussed, we have the opportunity to join our accredited short course laws to develop skills for future studies in HE. And as well, we have access to digital resources and another one to one meeting to further explore post school options. In S6, we have our transitions programme, which supports core pupils throughout the application process to college and university, including our personal statement review service. Core pupils can send up to three drafts of their personal statement for review and feedback. At the moment, we have just finished our one to one core pupil meetings with S4 pupils to identify their next steps on their HE journey. I'll now pass you on to Helen, who's going to tell you more about our next opportunity on the programme, Lift Off to Success 2023. Over to you, Helen. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us and thank you to Hannah for that introduction there. Um, I am the development worker responsible for planning LO2S this year, so I'm going to give you a little bit more information um, about the experience um, and what this entails. LO2S is one of our experiential elements that make up part of that programme that Hannah's gone over there. Can we jump onto the next slide, please, Hannah? So LO2S, as mentioned, is a summer residential programme taking place from the 3rd to the 7th of July 2023. This is an opportunity for your young person to live like a student for a week. We stay at John Burnett Halls of Residence at the University of St Andrews and experience various different higher education environments throughout the week. We're really lucky that this is fully funded, so that means that all of the travel, food and accommodation is all paid for, so you don't have to put any money towards this trip. Um, we pick up pupils from various collection points um, via bus to get to John Burnett Halls of Residence. We ask you to let us know any dietary requirements for food in the application. And as you can see, this is a lovely photo of John Burnett Halls there. Throughout the week, we do various different activities, including a party night on the Thursday, which is always really popular to show a variety of both the academic side of going to higher education, but also a little bit of the social stuff. Could we go next slide, please? So why might your young person want to take part in LO2S? This is an opportunity to meet like minded young people from across Tayside who are going through the exact same process of deciding and exploring what their next steps could be. It's a really fantastic opportunity to experience life as a student. So you're staying in student accommodation and um, experiencing the type of things you might want to do. It's also an exposure to lots of different kinds of learning environments. No two universities or colleges are the same. So we aim to show young people um, a variety of these kinds of settings. And we do this through offering taster sessions at our various academic partners. And these cover a variety of academic subjects. All of this together is aims to build skills and the confidence of your young people for the future. Next slide, please, Hannah. 
Like I mentioned, we work with various academic partners each year. These are just a selection of the institutions who we've worked with previously. Each day at LO2S, we visit a different institution and different taster subject areas from both the academic and student life um, side of things as well. Um, as Hannah mentioned, higher education covers both college and university, so we aim to offer a variety of these different learning environments. At this stage, we don't announce which individual institutions we're going to, to allow pupils to come into the experience with an open mind, without any preconceptions, and offer them the opportunity to kind of fully participate in the activities. Next slide, please. On the Friday of the week, so the 7th of July, we offer a graduation event where you are invited with friends and family to share in the success of our young people. At this event, we um, partner with SAS, so the Student Awards Agency for Scotland, to provide a funding talk for yourself. Before we get down to some of the celebrations where we hear what the pupils have been up to and what they have achieved throughout the week, we provide a light lunch and this is for two, uh, there's two tickets available per young person who takes part in the in LO2S. Um, you book this onto the graduation event via Eventbrite, but obviously there'll be more information closer to the time um, that will be sent to you via email. So this is the point that we're at just now. So a little bit about how to take part in LO2S. So at the moment, all of our pupils have been sent an email with access to our online application. Because there are only 60 places available, we ask our pupils to actually tell us why they would like to take part and what they would like to get out of this experience. The deadline to apply is by the 17th of April, so you can apply over the Easter holidays. And at that point, we work with school guidance teams to allocate places to the pupils that are going to benefit the most from taking part in the experience. We anticipate that um, places will be offered around May time, and this will also be done via email. This is the email that your young person signed up to take part in the Liftoff programme. So it may well be their Glow school account, or it might be a personal email. We encourage you to check both the inbox and the junk box to make sure you don't miss an email. Pupils must then accept their offer to take part in LO2S and at that stage we ask that you upload a passport style selfie photograph to allow our staff team to get to know your face ahead of the event. As pupil places are limited, if you cancel your place with less than two weeks notice, there is a £50 fee. Um, so that's only if you cannot take part with less than two weeks notice. And uh, that again is communicated via email. So we have a few FAQs. We anticipate that you've got lots of questions about the experience. Um, so these are some of the things that we commonly get asked. Do people share rooms? No, every individual has their own room, even if it does have more than one bed in it. It's one room and that's for health and safety reasons. Is there a cost to take part? No, this is a fully funded opportunity. It's funded by the Scottish Funding Council. The only fee is if you cancel with less than two weeks notice and that is £50. Some pupils want to bring a little bit of spending money, but this is really not required and at maximum would be £20. We would recommend that they bring along. What should pupils pack to wear? Well, we always like to recommend something sensible, so sensible shoes such as trainers. We will be doing lots of walking around. 
um, and movement. We do live in Scotland, so it's always a good idea to bring a rain jacket and also five days worth of clothes. There are no washing facilities available. The good news for you parents is you don't need to pack any bedding or towels as this is provided by John Burnett Hall's residence. We're often asked by pupils if they'll be with their friends and we know there's a lot of anxiety around meeting new people. We do try and group pupils together with somebody from their own school. However, part of this experience is actually building the confidence to meet new people in a supported environment. So whilst you will get to be with some of your friends, we encourage you to embrace the experience in meeting new people. And what if you need some support whilst you're on uh, on LA2S? Well, we've uh, try and be a really supportive environment. Hannah is our support to lead. And if you've indicated in your application form that you have either a health, well-being, dietary or a learning requirement, Hannah will be in touch before we take part in the residential to have a chat with you to discuss what support would be required and how to best help you with that. On LO2S, we actually employ student support workers, so you'll be allocated a day and night contact person in addition to the lift off staff team. So if you have any concerns um, at all throughout the week, there's somebody there to support you in addition to things like first aid, which the lift off staff team are trained in. And I think we've got one final question. If you're on holiday, can you still participate? Unfortunately, this is a no because we're only going for five days. If you're going to miss some of the sessions, you would really miss out quite a lot and it's a very popular event. However, the good news is liftoff extends into S5 and S6 and there's lots of other opportunities to get involved with the programme. So there are some of our common questions. We imagine that you might have some of your own. So I'm going to throw it back to Hannah um, and go into a QA. and a You can ask your questions in the Q&A channel and we'll try and publish them um, as they come in, as well as have a discussion around that here. Thanks, Helen. Um, I hope that's been useful for everyone and it's provided a bit more information about LO2S for your young person. If you have any questions, please post them in the Q&A and hopefully we'll be able to answer them. Hi Hannah, it's Chantelle here. I'm just going to jump in. Um, there doesn't seem to be any questions at the moment, but we have a few people that have uh, appreciate, uh, expressed their thanks. Sorry. Um, so we've had one attendee, no questions, but wanted to thank you for the information, the opportunity um, and another attendee that has said it was great. Thank you. It was very informative. 
Oh, brilliant. Um, thank you again for coming. If no one has any other questions uh, before we go, um, just to let you know that you can contact us uh, via email if you do think of any questions you might have. You can also follow us via our social medias. We keep them up to date. So you can, especially if your young person is coming to LO2S, you can get updates on what's been happening. Um, and also there should be a link to our web page regarding LO2S. So you can have a look on there. We'll also send that in an email along with a copy of this session. Um, I'll just double check with Chantel that we have no more questions yeah, coming no, in. We've got, we... we've got some questions now, so we're just keeping in mind, guys, that there is a 20 second delay, so don't worry if you've asked your question. Um, our first question here then is, do the pupils get any help with their course choices? Um, so yes, not on LO2S, but what we try and do, like I was saying, for the S4 pupils, we try and meet them um, roughly round about course choice time to have a look at what they're thinking about for their post-school options and uh, give signpost them to different resources and things like that. So hopefully they can make informed choices about their subject choices at school in fifth and in sixth year. So we do that in fourth year and then we meet pupils again in fifth year round about course choice time um, to, to help them with that. Thanks, Anna. So our next question is, how will my child get to and from LO2S? So, uh, Transport for LO2S is provided throughout. So we normally pick up your young person at normally the school or a school close by and take them to St Andrews. And the same again uh, at the end of the week at graduation, if for whatever reason, um, parents and carers can't make the graduation, then there is transport that's available to take that young person home and to make sure they get home safely. Thank you. Next question. Are the young people left on their own for any of the week? No, it's the short answer for that. Uh, not really. Sometimes um, before dinner, normally they would get some free time. Um, this is about an hour normally and they do have the opportunity to um, go up the town in St Andrews to spend uh, any spending money they have. Um, but they do, they only get a small amount of time uh, on their own. Perfect. And a question maybe for Hannah and Helen together. So Helen, if you just want to pop on your mic and you can answer this together. Um, do you get a lot more applications than there are places for L2S? And how do you decide which young people would benefit most from the experience? I'm going to pass this to Helen. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah. This is a really good question. So LO2S is one of our more popular engagements. Um, at the moment, there are not more applications than there are places. There are 60 places available for pupils. And this is where we ask the help of our school guidance teachers to really identify the pupils that are going to benefit the most. So um, there's a variety of factors that they might choose to tell us and we ask each uh, each pupil that has applied will get a teacher reference from their school guidance teacher. Um, if you don't know who your school contact is for liftoff, you can visit our website to see who in school is the best person to ask about this. Um, and we do that process after the applications close in April. Another one for you, Helen, and thank you for that is how many from each school get a place? So the way we award places isn't a particular number per school. Um, some schools have more pupils that apply than others. We are more interested on who's going to benefit from the experience um, and who's going to participate. So it's not a particular number per school. Thank you. Um, how many different universities and colleges do they visit on LO2S? So as I mentioned, we don't announce um, the institutions prior to going. Um, this year it will be around seven different HEIs and that includes both college and universities. Thank you. At the moment there's no more questions, but that could just be the delay, so we'll give it a few more minutes.
I should maybe say at this point, if you do have any other questions, I would encourage you to visit our um, LO2S info hub. This was sent to you in the email that you got about this evening and also on the leaflet that was sent home with all of our pupils. There's a wee QR code on there. Um, there's more information on the actual application. There's a wee video that we've shown all of our pupils, as well as some testimonials from previous students that have taken part. I'll just pop that in the chat as well, if anybody wants to go directly to it. That seems to be the most of them just now, but there is a lots of thanks for the information session tonight, guys, and that it was very informative. So I am glad that people have found so. Um, people, people are free to leave at this time, but we'll hang on anyway, just if there are some more questions that are coming through and if people want to stay on to hear them as well, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, I'll just echo that. Thank you for everyone that's attending um, this evening and we look forward to meeting your young people in the summer. We've got a question coming there, Helen. What does the £50 cover for cancelling? So the £50 fee is only if we cannot fill your space. So because this is a fully funded event, um, that doesn't mean there's no costs. Lift off pays for everything. So that £50 fee is really covering the accommodation cost for the room that would potentially be empty. Um, so that's what the fee is for. We hope that we are not in that position and it's only to discourage pupils. Oh. I'm hoping that you heard that. I got a wee notification saying that that came up on mute there, so apologies. Uh, you'd think that after lockdown we'd be better at the technical things. So just to reiterate that the £50 fee is only if the place cannot be filled and that's to really cover the accommodation costs. Um, although the event is fully funded, Liftoff does have to pay for that accommodation and that's what that £50 fee is to cover. Thanks, Helen. Got another question here. Um, is there any opportunity for the young person to see or hear about sports facilities with a university? So I think that maybe just means that L2S, would that maybe be on the cards? So, um, although we are focusing more on the academic side of things, part of this experience is seeing some of the facilities available at different institutions. This usually includes, um, and, you know, it includes all of the facilities, so potentially the gyms um, or gym hall type facilities. Um, at this stage, I can't confirm if we're looking at any sports particular courses, although that is something that we have done in the past. If you're talking about taking part in sporting activities. In the evenings, we usually do various different kind of group activities. And for instance, if it's nice weather, we may well play some sports at the beach, for example. OK, so our next question is, what if the child is not well? And perhaps we can answer that in the terms of what if they're not well within the two weeks prior to the event? And what if they're not well during L2S as well? Yes, so obviously there's a discussion to be had around individual circumstances, so we would just encourage you to get in touch as soon as you can with us um, if the child is unwell prior to the event. Obviously, we don't want anyone attending who's potentially sick or unwell. If a child becomes unwell during the event, we've got first aiders in the team. So depending on what that illness is, the young person would be assessed. And of course, we would get in touch with you as parents and carers in the first instance to decide on a plan of action um, based on whatever that illness may well be. Last year we had COVID considerations, so obviously um, this year may be slightly different around COVID quarantining, but we'll know that sooner to the time and we'll communicate that with you. 
maybe important to mention there as well that if your child does become unwell and you don't have a way to be able to come and pick them up from John Burnett Halls, um, we have staff cars as well, so something can be arranged for something like that. And that just echoes what Hannah said earlier. Um, another question that we have here are what are the collection points for buses? So again, at this stage in the planning, we haven't chosen specific collection points and this will be based around how many pupils apply from given schools but it'll usually be schools in your local area um, if it's not your own school it'll be one that's very nearby to it and um, we aim to have some pickup points both in Fife, Dundee and Angus so it's not that you're going out of your way to a different collection point. Again we'll get in touch neither the time when we've got the bus company's confirmation on that. We have another question which is do you need to participate in physical activities? So whilst we encourage all of our pupils to get involved in all of the things on offer, obviously if you have a physical disability, you would not be forced to take part in anything. Um, so we try and bear this in mind at the planning stage. So actually we're bearing in mind the support requirements asked in the application form. So if you are concerned about anything like that, Hannah would get in touch with you prior to the event to discuss what is planned um, and potentially how you could get involved. But of course, we're not going to force anyone to get involved in anything they don't want to. Thank you. Just waiting on some more questions if there are any. No new questions coming in at the moment, but that might just be the delay. But again, guys, we can still hang off and just wait for that to happen. A question. Um, thank you for the interesting uh, session. And I think it's important to note at this point as well, guys, if you do have any more questions that you think of after the session, this isn't the last opportunity to ask those questions. Our inbox is always open, which we've got information up on the screen there about. So if you, if you do um, afterwards, you think of that question that you just couldn't think about right now, just email us and Helen, Hannah or myself will get back in touch with you. OK, I'm just going to hand over then back to Hannah to end the session there. Um, so Hannah will be back on the screen. Hi, everyone. I just want to say thank you again for coming along to our session. I hope it was useful for you. Uh, and thanks to Helen and Chantel for I think we covered everything. Um, and uh, we're going to close this session now, I think. But again, like Chantel says, please get in touch if you have any further questions um, and we will get back in touch with you. And we look forward to seeing your young person in July on LO2S. Thanks for coming. Guys, there are just a few more questions coming in. So although that's the, the end, we'll just quickly answer these final two questions and then what I'll do, I'll end the live session so they'll no longer be able to come in. Um, can the young person, oh, okay. Helen's gonna actually reply to you guys privately. Um, so to the questions that have just come in there, we're gonna just reply to them privately so they don't need to be published. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming everyone. Uh, and have a good night.